Hey guys, come on inside, step in here. All right, so I wanted to give you guys a tour of the place here at the end of 2017 because normally you just get to see one wall, you don't get to see my desk or my gear or anything like that. So I wanna give you a tour of the place, show you what it looks like, show you the gear that I'm actually using, showing you what I'm using in the computer as well as my film equipment and how I make these videos. So welcome to the 2017 Songwriting Studio Tour. All right, so the first thing I wanna show you is the most important piece of any studio, and that is how it looks. So I'm gonna tell you just a little bit about this space. Number one, it is a 12 by 13 foot bedroom. It's actually a mother-in-law suite detached from our house. And when we started with it, it did not look cool at all. It was just white walls, ugly old carpet, some kind of yellow, weird looking ceiling. And so we came in, and we put in new floors, we painted everything, we installed these brick panels over here, which a little se secret, it's not actually brick, it's just a wood panel that we installed. We got them from Lowe's for really cheap, and then you do this whitewash stuff over it. My wife did all that, so I gotta give kudos to her because there's no way I could have done that. And then we've got these acoustic panels going on here, which look pretty fancy, but actually we made those ourselves. You can go get two by two boards from Lowe's. We got these cheap boards, planed them down, sanded them down, painted them, cut them out like we did, put a backing on them, and then use this weird sticky webbing to put up these foam panels, which I got like 40 for $30 online. So they look cool, but actually they're pretty uh, simple to make. Beyond that, we've got a really big comfy couch so you can sit and feel cool and look cool. And it also pulls out into a bed just in case you need to take a nap while you're working or something. And then we've of course got this old piano in here which was given to us by my wife's grandmother before she passed away so that is pretty special. And really guys, I know it's kind of a cool looking space, but it doesn't actually help with the sound quality so much. I could accomplish the same thing with some blankets as far as acoustic panels go. But for me, it's a professional space. This is where I bring in students, clients, produce music. I do small group classes in here. We even rent out our house from time to time. So this is about having a professional space for me to teach in, to produce in, and then also to show you guys online when I'm doing courses or free content. So that's the space. All right, so next I want to bring you to the desk and show you my filming equipment. So some of you ask me, hey, how do you make videos and how does that even work? So I wanna show you just the simple tools that I use to make my videos that I post online, whether it be screenshot stuff or videos here in the studio. So number one, and this is so fancy, is I use my built-in camera from my Mac. I don't have a fancy camera, I just use it. It's easy, it's quick, it does a good job. And then beyond that, I've got this really fancy lighting set with umbrellas back here. It costs me maybe, I don't know, 50, 70 dollars, and it does an okay job. I just use it if I really need some extra lighting. And a little fun fact is I've knocked over these little things three times and broken the bulb all down in my desk. It makes me really mad, but um, anyways, beyond that, I intentionally set my desk at the window so that I could get some natural light in and I could control, control it a little bit with the blinds and with the shutters. And so beyond that, I use my recording microphone to pick up audio and I put it just out of camera sight so you don't usually see it uh, when I'm filming stuff, but you hear, you're hearing my voiceover come through this. And then beyond that, I use a program called ScreenFlow, which I bought for $99, but it's up to maybe like $130. And essentially, you can record your built-in camera, you can record your microphone. The big thing, you can record your screen and what's on your screen. You can record your cell phone and all of that at the same time, which is pivotal and crucial for me because a lot of times I want you to see my face, I need you to hear my voice, but you also need to look at a project and hear the internal computer audio. So that's how I make videos and it's a simple setup. It didn't cost me much, but hey, it's working. All right, so now the juicy stuff, the audio equipment. This is what I use to make music, original songs. This is what I use to record clients and produce music. 
This is what I train you guys in. So let's dive into this stuff. So number one, I'm using a Mac computer. And up until a few months ago, I was actually using a 2011, an old Mac. Um, it was pretty slow and I recently upgraded. I waited about seven years on that, six years. And so inside of there, I use GarageBand. I also have Logic, but I really like GarageBand. I like teaching from GarageBand. And then out from there, I'm using a Focusrite Scarlet Solo. It is a $99 interface, one XLR input, one uh, guitar instrument input, and it just, it works really well. And it's $99 brand new, so hard to beat that. Then beyond that, my microphone, I use a Bluebird, and this microphone is $180 brand new. I bought it for 300 back in the day. But since then the price has gone down, which is really cool for you guys. Then as far as my MIDI controller, I use the Keystation 49, but I use the one step up from that, it's called the Axiom 49. And so this is where I program everything. I do all my pianos, a lot of my basses, this is where I'll do my drums. I mean, a lot, the majority of my work happens right here or using this microphone. So some good stuff right here. And I'll even say with this keyboard, you can get the Keystation 49 for like $99. I found this brand new for 150 from a guy who had never touched it before. So I thought it had cool knobs and buttons, so I bought it and I've never honestly even touched this stuff. I just use this. So beyond that, obviously you have a pair of headphones in the studio. Thank you to my brother-in-law for letting me borrow these long-term. But most of the time I'm mixing on monitors. These are Presonus Eris E5s. I believe they run about $300 for the pair. I was given them, and so it's hard for me to turn them down, but I really like the sound. It's clean, it's clear, it gives a lot of low end and some queer mids and high end, so I like these monitors. And then beyond that, inside of the computer, I use something called Melodyne Essential. This is for vocal tuning or even a single note instrument tuning. It costs $99 for the essential version. You can go all the way up to like the $850, but that's what I use. It syncs into GarageBand. And then the only other third-party plugin that I'm using is from Slate Digital. It's called Revival, and it's a harmonic exciter. It just brings a little bit of life and energy to the mix. And it was also a free plugin. You just have to have an iLock dongle for it. So beyond that, I've got a few fancy toys not that many, but one is this. It is called the TC Helicon Play Acoustic. And essentially, it's got a lot of dust on it, but essentially what it does for me as a producer is I can create automatic harmonies without having the singer have to sing them. I can just uh, play back their original melody and then record an automatic harmony, which is really helpful for me. It's quick for me, it's professional, so it's nice. Beyond that, that's, that's really it as far as the home studio goes. But I do wanna show you a few guitars. They're not necessary for the home studio, but there's some cool stuff. So let's go over here. And we'll check out Old Faithful. He's kinda falling apart. <laughs> He's got some wear and tear. It looks a little bit like Willie Nelson's guitar. This is a Siegel. I mean, it's maybe three or $400. It's been beat up. It looks like it's been bitten by children or something. I'm not even sure, but it has a great sound. I like the way it plays. And what I actually like about this guitar is I can just kind of throw it around and my kids have stood on this thing before and jumped on it. And so I don't want a really fancy acoustic guitar where I'm going, oh my gosh, don't touch that. So beyond that, you got to see this electric. <clears throat> I hope you're ready for this. I don't have many expensive pieces of equipment, but this one right here is pretty seeing and sweet. So this is a Paul Reed Smith SC58. And it's super cool! It's got the epic ocean blue going on. And this was totally a gift from my dad. Dad, you rock. And so I would never buy myself a guitar like this, but my dad bought it for me and I like it a lot. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. 
All right, and then beyond that, I have a Fender Squire Jaguar bass. I mean, it's like a $200 bass. I needed a bass. I was teaching some bass lessons, doing production, so I actually got this idea from Graham Cochran at the Recording Revolution, and I saw it in his studio. I knew he could get good recordings with it, so that's the bass I went with. <clears throat> All right, guys, so that wraps up our tour here at the Songwriting Studio. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was encouraging to you to see my setup. And as always, thank you guys for being a subscriber. Thank you for being a student. I really appreciate you guys, and I hope you're growing and really enjoying the process of learning how to write and produce high-quality, meaningful music from home. I'll see you in 2018. Woo! Well, run into a slight problem and that is this pile of carpet won't fit out the door so what you gotta do is you gotta run on the side. Yeah baby. Try that again. Go. Get it! Go. Sit. All right, so the first thing I want to show you here in the studio is the very most important part. Does that even make sense? All right guys, so that is the tour. Bleh. And so this is Dean and I'm signing out here from the songwriting studio and encouraging you, I can't talk. <laughs> Hopefully you're getting inspired to go home and make your space. And that's not what I wanna say. I don't even know what I wanna say. <clears throat> what do I wanna say? You guys are great. Make music.